Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Trophinet the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. Last time we've had some shocking revelations, well not really shocking. Um, Dina finally realized that Ellie is in fact immune to the infection and then she confessed to Ellie that she thinks she might be pregnant. To which Ellie frankly reacted like a bit of an asshole. Um, and I can't help but notice that reloading my save file kind of made my melee weapon be completely fine again, visually at least. As I remember in the last episode, that that melee weapon was completely and utterly broken, so it had chips out of it and everything. That actually makes me wonder, can I now make another one then? Ah, no, I can't, okay. So I can't really uh, improve it anymore as I couldn't last time. So again, ammo casings, I hate this. Okay, so a bathroom, that could have some nice resources. So we're in a, in a theater after we uh, had to run away from the infected, we're now inside of a theater. And, okay, there's more pills over here. People really like leaving pills in the bathroom, which is, I mean, it kind of fits, but it's weird that it's happening constantly. Oh, and we have a note over here. An American tragedy, Cassandra. Okay, thank you, Ali. That was a horrible thing to note right off the bat. But other than that, yeah, we should probably scrounge for supplies and see if the entire place is quite safe. I don't know if there's anything behind that glass. I don't see a reason to smash it. Can I talk to Dina again? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, no interaction there. That's a bit weird. You can't really push Ellie in to go and uh, talk to her girlfriend again. But let's move up. So there's two ways, I'm assuming. Pregnant. Yeah, Ellie. Fucking pregnant. How could you keep something like that? Uh, I don't know. She didn't, I mean, she must have known about it, but hesitated whether it was actually true. You can't imagine that you tell yourself that it's not happening. September 4th, me, Perez, Green and Adams made it to the listening post two days ago and so far so good. The WLF haven't come looking here yet. The city's lost to the WLF. We escaped headquarters out of sheer luck and good timing. Torres, Ward and the others are probably dead. Camping here, grateful to be alive for now. September 6th, can't sleep, burning up with a fever, no medicine, looked everywhere. We don't have anything except the uniforms on our backs. No contact from anyone on the radio either. How many of us made it out? The day after that, still feverish, don't have any big cuts, so probably not an infection. The others are waiting until nightfall, then making a run to the hospital to get medicine for me and supplies wherever we're going next. They're good guys. And then, three days later, shouldn't be taking this long. So I'm guessing okay. we might not sold. pop them still there. Better be careful. And now we have this tent thing. Is that is that a trading card? It seems like a place where there would be trading cards. They had a lot of magazines around here. There's a bit of rags over there as well. And a bunch of books. But can we actually create... I'm going to create another Molotov cocktail. There we go. And we can now grab the rag. Oh, stop, stop it, Ellie, you pyromaniac. Now we have a bar with a few extra bottles, obviously, but there might be another bit of ooh, alcohol. Definitely grabbing that. That was three quarters of uh, a bit of alcohol. Uh, but that seems to be it. Although, there is an employees only area that leads up. This is interesting. And there's another door even over here leading to, aha, a power cord. I don't yet know what I would need a power cord for, but definitely might come in handy so let's just pull that in by the way i really love the oh it started raining outside um what can i okay so this leads up fair enough um oh and she even puts her hood on that is that is nice if you go back in she puts that down again or not yeah there we go now if i open this up where does this lead that looks like another workbench. Um, so let's grab that. Let us canister. And a note. Okay. Another big note. Ooh. 
that's even further along. So that's three days later. I don't think they're coming back. They're not coming back. Either got ambushed or they ditched me. Not my fault, I got sick. At least the fever's gone, but now I'm fucking starving. And probably raid the buildings nearby for food, then see if I can raise someone on the radio. Two days later, constant rain means I at least won't die of thirst. Unfortunately, it, makes, it keeps making the electricity conk out all the time. Makes it kind of hard to use the radio. Not the man, no, not like anyone's answering anyway. The WLF can't have hit all the federal listening posts. No way. Need to keep trying. A few days later, dreamt they were laughing as I slowly bled out from a gut shot. Woke up an hour ago, still shaking. Need a cigarette. You'd think there'd be a pack or two stashed somewhere in a fucking theater, but apparently not this one. And then three days later, power went out again. Going to head to the roof and see if I can get it back on. Okay, and that's where this guy's story seemingly ended. What's the ah, that's the theater itself, so we're in the projector room. Um, but other than the ingredients over here... Ah, there's a radio. But we can't use it yet because the power is out. Okay, so we need to head upstairs if we want to turn the power on. And I don't know if I, I'm going to get the option to explore the rest of this area, because this seems like a pretty big area. Oh, we do find an old trading card at the end of the hallway there, beyond trading cards. Can we check that out? Okay, seems to be another one of those. No, no affiliation. Imani Graves. So, I noticed that double, those double doors downstairs, but I'm assuming that going up here might be useful as well. So this guy, the last note he sent was at that day. So, the day he went up to fix the power, so I don't know if there are going to be enemies here. So, I'm gonna stay quiet. I would think that the rain fucks up the listening mode a little bit, at least. But, for now it seems quiet. Although, pretty sure that guy must have turned, right? Okay, so that's his corpse. He probably got electrocuted, yeah. Ooh. He died while trying to fix this so Damn. yeah you get fried <laughs> you weren't much of an electrician his shoes flew off that is um a nice touch um can we turn this back on uh so whoop. seems like it seems like it indeed and full beans got it so that turns on the electricity oh Probably shouldn't be touching that. Um, there's more parts around here as well, apparently. I should probably leave. Because if that blows up, that's not going to be good, is it? And I'm wondering if the, the power isn't going to draw any more uh, infected to the building. Doesn't seem to do it. This is a real downpour. Must be that Seattle weather, I suppose. Okay, so let's get back in. And now there's light to this place. So at least we can check out the radio really quickly here. There's even a map. So let's check that. Oh, and we found keys. By slamming the radio. I mean, you, you tried like a few frequencies, that doesn't... You should have tried a bit more. So we got a key now. That's probably a key to the door down below. Why is this door closed? This door wasn't closed. That's weird. Um, by the way, I should probably use the health kit to heal up Ellie. At least that we're all the way up to that. One snack bar will get us up to full, which is nice. Uh, and now I could... Probably, yeah, I'm just going to craft another uh, health kit. There we go. So we're up to two health kits that we can use during combat if we need to. Is Dina up and about already? Doesn't... I think she's still there, right? Yeah. Still, still don't want to talk? Okay. At least the lights are on now. Partly. Did... Did I open... Yeah, that was the toilet. <laughs> I'm just... Ooh, I'm getting paranoid about everything. Did I open up the door? Yes, I did. So now we can use the key on this door. There we go. We wouldn't have found it if we weren't uh, hitting the radio. Alright. Alright. 
This seems like a theater, all right. Wow. Oh, Joel, he'd love watching a movie in this place. Indeed he would. But as for now, there doesn't seem to be too much in this area. I'm just looking for supplies, but they usually stand out just a little bit and I don't see anything. Doesn't seem like it. I love how you can still faintly hear the that weird noise from the radio upstairs. Um, and there's another note here. Sick habit with the Brickshed houses. Pinnacle Theater, all proceeds to Ch Seattle Children's Center. Okay. And then... Ooh, sick habit, set less, settle for less. Who can say once more onto the breach? Hide out, running towards my problems. Possession, the light of two minds. Encore, Armstrong and Holly, QED. Okay, I don't know if that's gonna come into play later. But for now, this just seems to be a way for me to open up the curtains. Hello? Oh, crap, that mannequin just scared that. <sighs> Spooky. Yeah. No way. Oh, we find another guitar. That means that we're going to have to play again, probably. That's not going to be good. Okay. So is she just going to... What song are we going to play today? I'm going to get another copyright claim. Because, <laughs> yeah, take, uh, take, uh, uh, take All Me got uh, copyright claimed. Even though it was a very slow version of it. Yeah, let's tune that. Okay. There we go, we got one line further than the last time. Ooh, and then a black screen. Oh, flashback time, three years earlier. I started to sound like so. Oh, I suck. <sighs> Just need to build up your calluses, that's all. Yeah. All right, come on. Just it? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, wow, we get some more Joel. That is... Wait. I'm going to start guessing. Okay, let's just you go. to spoil your surprise now. I don't know. Is it a dinosaur? Stop trying to guess. I ain't telling you. All right. Is it... An elephant? <sighs> Is it a convertible? You're not gonna guess. Is it a puppy? Is it a lot of kittens? You mean a litter? What's a litter? A bunch of kittens. <laughs> One <laughs> walking, less talking. Okay, so wait a second. You had this all I along? Understand. I got it. You had a scene like this, ah! and there she goes. Oops, he says. Oh, wow, they're swimming in this game. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You should see your face right now. What am I drown? No, you're not going to drown. You got to work on that confidence, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, keep laughing, old man. See what happens. <laughs> this way. The worst. Is this a swimming tutorial, like literally eight hours into the game? 
So I want to swim faster. Your swimming's getting better. Remember now, don't just flail about. You Push gotta... the water with your whole arm. Blah, blah, blah. Glad to know I'm getting through. Okay, the, the water effects are really, really cool. Just in there, look. It's even dripping off from her elbows. I see it. Yeah. Looks like... <laughs> Payback. How's that feel? Uh, refreshing. Yeah, it's not nice getting pushed in, is it? Well, actually, we need to swim through this part anyway. I got you back. You're angry and upset. I am very angry and upset. Now, come on. Ugh. So... How does I don't I don't know what the is, do the spores actually work? She even did a, a little bit of a cannonball there. <laughs> do the spores work in here. water or not? Because this seems like it's very dangerous. Breath. Yeah, I got this. Okay, so circle to dive, and then go back up. Why was she worried about drowning if she can do that? <laughs> I mean, she is indeed not going to drown. There we go. Good. And we can talk Is to Joel again. My sixth grade history teacher wanting to apologize for being a massive dick. I beg your pardon? My friend and I would argue whenever he called the fireflies terrorists. We got a lot of detention. You know, you really need to stop letting people rile you up. It's hard when they're dicks. Point still stands. All right, got another dive over here. Where are you taking me? There we go. I'm jumping into the water. Um, wait, is this... I mean, this isn't a dive. She could just fit under there. That's not... Okay, and we can probably just swim up again. There we go. Is it... A new pair of sneakers? How many of those do you have? Not enough. I'm assuming that Joel is going to help us up here. Now, I, I feel like it's weird that they didn't use this before. I mean, like, chronologically. Because okay. as I said before, Joel's dad didn't hit me guessing. as much. Well, good. Because we barely spend any time with him in this game. But like, now, like, is it a we're back to him. Massive comic book collection? No, wait. A new DVD collection? <sighs> yes. <laughs> Which one? Just yes. How about laser discs? I heard that's a thing. Aren't, aren't they all laser discs? Um, can we go check, Joel? You're just standing here. Let's go and check. Wee! Let's go and check. Oh, what the? Wait. What was that? Or was that just a, a graphical artifact on the wall? It looked like a giant bear just passed by. Oh, it's a shit, dinosaur. Joel. We're here. Oh my god, it is a dinosaur. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, she Joel? told it. Surprise. Holy shit. The oh. Wyoming Museum of Holy Science and History. Fucking dinosaur. That is indeed a motherfucking dinosaur. Okay, that is nice. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's put King that in the journal. Tyrant lizards. That's a big boy. Uh, because yeah, if you if you didn't know that yet, Tyrannosaurus is literally Latin for tyrant lizard. So not 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 that big of a stretch. Okay, Joel, what else you got up your sleeve? Is it? Oh, can we go up the the tail? Can we go up the tail? There's actually an animation for this. What are you doing? Uh, Ellie, be, be careful. Holy crap. Like a dinosaur. Yeah, I can see that. Just don't die falling off of one. Holy Jimmy, crap. I'm on a motherfucking dinosaur. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Don't jump. Just climb down. Um, We're not going to jump, are we? Because that's not deep enough water. What? No? Is the game really expecting me to jump here? This is... No. No. Oh. Okay, I can't do anything else apparently, so jump! 
Wow, okay, that water was deeper than I anticipated it being. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, so... <laughs> oh, wasn't it Face awesome? Bound. It's awesome that you didn't break anything. Oh, that was awesome. It was awesome. I, it didn't look safe, because that water just seemed shallow to me up until Wyoming this point. Museum of Science and History. How did you find this place? Maria, she uh, she told me about it. Figured it'd be right up your alley. Figured right. So, how? I I mean, how are you not concerned with infected or anything over What's here? This? Uh, ah, and there we go. Book. That's the folder we got. It's a dinosaur book. Mm, okay. All right. So that's a folder we found in uh, Joel's house before. That does not look like a correct dinosaur skeleton from that angle. This looks better, Velociraptors probably. Then we have an Indiana Jones hat. Oh man! You want to try it on? I do not. Hm. Your loss. Oh yeah. Giddy up, cowboy. And now we... What is this? Automated miniature wax factory. Okay, so that's making figurines. Cool. Dinosaur eggs and heads. What else have we got? Look at her face. Look at her face. What the fuck is this? She's just biting her lower lip for some reason. Okay. Um, oh, look at those talons. That is a velociraptor. Hold it. Actually... It's a D. Dionanicus. Mm, pretty sure these are velociraptors. Yeah. I mean, at least that's what they called them in this movie I saw. Hmm. It's a Dionicus. A Dionicus. Not, not whatever she called it, but yeah, velociraptors. Um, is there. Can we get over this? Yeah, because we're, we're automatically walking really slowly, but. Um, just want to take a look around. Uh, flashlight still works. Hello, everybody. I have a cowboy hat. And I'm going to talk with this accent all day. Hello there, chaps. Let's go find ourselves some dinosaurs. Can we grab one of these? A souvenir penny press. No. Okay. Ooh. Comsognus comsognatus. Comsognatus. Comsognathus. Ooh, it's a big name for little guys. Yeah, they'd swarm you. Okay, thank, thanks for the image. Did you see that in a movie too? Actually, yeah. But a different one. See, there's a sequel. It wasn't as good. <laughs> Jurassic Park references. I got them, you got them, everybody gets them. Um, Giants of the past. Oh, yes. This is awesome. Let's check this one out. Um, steg steg <laughs> Stegosaurus. Oh, look. That is a hat on a dinosaur. It's but called it's a hatosaur. A stegosaurus. There we go. Hold it again. Whoa. This one's brain was the size of a walnut. No, no way. Looks like you two have something in common. Oh, <laughs> good one. Yeah, good one indeed. So then the Triceratops. Um, and then the Brachiosaurus, I suppose. Yeah, there we go. I was a bit of a dinosaur freak when I was little. There we go, Triceratops. Triceratops means three-horned face. You would not want to be on the business end of that horn. Or any of those horns. I mean, she just said it's three horn, Joel. It's not just one horn. There's three, that's the point. Although the third one is kind of missing on this skull, but it was there. Uh, and then we have the Brachiosaurus, so the, the thunder, the thunder lizards. It's, I mean, it's it's literally that. Um, ooh, there's a lot of places to check out. The Metrodon, or I don't know how you pronounce that in English. Dimetrodon was an apex predator. It's an apex predator. The most badass predator. Huh. 
Pretty short for that. Wait, were you talking about me? Yeah, probably. Um, but uh, yeah, an apex predator that's like a guy in a mech suit. Um, like, uh, trying to kill yeah, like... Sounds like a pill. 39 other dudes. But, or, or is it 59? I forget how many people there are in, in Apex Legends. I think 60. Um, Gallimillimus. Gallimillimus. Gallimimus's name means chicken mimic. I, who names these? Scientist. Well, they're dumb. Well, they are sometimes dumb, but usually not. Because that just looks like a giant chicken. Um, and then we have this side bit over here. There's a trading card, this part, the Nighthawk. Oh, cool. What you got there? These uh, superhero cards. Seems like they were popular. I think Sarah was into those for a while. What's the little creature thing? I forget. Yeah, he does. It doesn't seem, by the way, that we have any... Ah, oh, we do have a pistol. Um, oh. There we go. Mirror. Oh, that was dirt. Okay, now her arm should be dirty. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh my god. Ooh, that is just uh, that you're just you're just showing off now, aren't you, Naughty Dog, with your face animations? Okay. Got it. That was fun. Fun distraction from all the horror that we've been seeing. Remember, there's like a pregnant woman crying on a bed somewhere. On the couch. Um, after Ellie just told her horrible things. So, that's something to remember. Brachiosaurus ate 600 pounds of plants each day. Ooh. Imagine the poops! Yeah, there's one scene where, uh, actually one of the guys said, that's a big mound of shit. <laughs> <laughs> what is this movie, and when can we see it? Tell you what, when we get back to Jackson, movie night. I love how it's not even pointing out the movie by name, but it was using licensed music like Take, take On Me. With that, it's just absurd to me. Um, that you wouldn't just call out Jurassic Park in this scene. Um, ooh. Hello. More dinosaur stuff. That seems to be closed off, but... Velociraptor. Joel, this is uh, the one you were talking about. The Velociraptor? So small. Well, don't trust the movies, I guess. No, indeed. Um, and then we got to the most... Well, controversial one, because this one had a skeleton that has been rearranged like so many times by scientists that it's not even funny anymore. And then we get the Pachycephalosaurus. That, that's one with a very hard head. Look how thick this one's skull is. Kind of looks like Tommy. <laughs> I'm telling him you said that. Please don't. Catch it in the right light. Boom. Tommy. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. And then, yeah, the one with the weird curly thing on his head. Um, and then we have these guys. Whoa, this one looks like a bird. Well, actually, paleontologists believe the birds were descended from dinosaurs. Well, excuse me, Mr. Professor. I happen to know a thing or two. From a movie. Keep going. Yeah, indeed, because it's something that the movies like to point out every single time as well. Like the, the, the start of Jurassic World actually starts out with uh, a, a bird's claw just falling down on the snow, I think it is. And then it, it zooms out to, to show you that it is actually just a bird and not a dinosaur. Because their feet kind of look similar if you zoom in. Another hat. There we go. Need to get all the hats. That's an ankylosaur. I think. There we go. Is this going to be a thing? It is. Please don't let it be a thing. <laughs> there we go. Dinosaurs with hats. So an ankylosaur with the giant club tail thing. Do um, you find museums a lot? Yeah. Yeah, Sarah loved him. I swear that girl dragged me to every damn museum in Texas. 
Okay, now we get to the the hat of the Brachiosaurus. There we go, and then the extinction of the dinosaurs, which is kind of fitting because the infection might very well be the cause of the extinction of the human race. So I kind of get the uh, the parallels here. I'll walk through the stars. <gasps> Did you know this was here? Oh, you don't like it. Um, we can head back. Yeah. Oh, shut up. <laughs> All right, so there's a space part of this to this museum as well. Now we can turn this around. It, it still works. There hey, we go. Joel, can you name all the planets? <clears throat> My very educated mother just served us nice pizzas. Uh, did you just have a stroke? My Mercury, very Venus, mother Mars. Oh, okay. I get it. That's pretty cool. I could probably just keep turning this because this is yeah. Let's just let that go. So that was a nice uh, way to remember the uh, the correct order of the planets. You know how many times we've been to the moon? Uh, twice. Six times. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm gonna make it seven. Okay. <laughs> that would be a weird evolution to this game. Ellie goes to the moon. Um, and then a bunch of rockets. A bunch of rockets that we can't really interact with. We can sit down. Or are we just... Are we noting down a bench? I should probably check that out. Come on. Let's check out the journal. One day, yeah, going to, uh, to the stars there. There is actually more to this here. Oh. Wait a second. There's more here. Farming rotation blows. I don't get why people ask for this assignment. Note to self, talk to Maria about how early I can sign up for patrol training. Dina and I found this cool old campground today. She said kids used to go there in the summer for fun. We found all these art supplies. She cut colored paper and made some crowns for us while it rained outside. It was a good day. So there we go. That kind of confirms that, of course... Ellie knows Dina already for a very long time. This was three years ago, so it's not like their relationship just started uh, a few days after this game started. Then, Joel said he's taking me on a camping trip next week for my birthday. He found something he'd said I'll love. He's acting very proud of himself. Smuggled fo fogey. Cat sat next to me at movie night. Our elbows kept touching. I think she was doing it on purpose. I don't know. Maybe not. Probably not. Dina made me a crown for my birthday. She went back to that camp and got all this paper. It's pretty great. And there we get a look at the crown, the dinosaur, and then one day going to space. I don't think she ever will, but one day she wants to go to space. And there we have the buggy. The moon buggy. The, the moon rover. Fuck yeah. Where's the steering wheel? Rovers don't use steering wheels. They use joysticks. Huh. Hang on. Is the real one? <laughs> well, considering they left the real ones on the moon, I would say no. <laughs> Indeed, I would say no as well. Then we get a few smaller things, space artifacts, stuff like that. Doesn't seem like there's anything to interact here at the satellites. So that means that we can move up. Th those, those coin press thingies are all over the place, by the way. These, this museum really liked the merchandising. Can we open that up? Whoa. Oh, we can. That is interesting. <laughs> and also looks very dangerous. Now, hold on just a minute. You're going into space. You're gonna need a helmet. Oh, right. What was I thinking? Oh, the fun part, the fun part of being in a museum. Let's just grab, can we grab any of those? Ooh, I want to get the Gemini. I don't even need to. Yeah, definitely the Gemini one. It's the coolest one. They use those as a base for some of the Destiny uh, outfits as well. There we go. Because I think the, the armor is actually called the Gemini armor as well. And dust. We can swap them out for other helmets if we want to. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I want to I wanna have, this is... I mean, look at this. That, that is screenshot material right there. 
<laughs> All right, let's get into this thing. There we go. After you. Oh, one, two, three. Watch your head. I mean, she is wearing a helmet, so that wouldn't be so bad. And then, of course, you need to lay down. What the heck? Oh, Joel, you needed a helmet as well. Okay. Come on, buddy. Wow. Wow. As you look at all these buttons. Oh, it's so badass. <laughs> Man. Could you imagine just... <laughs> Happy birthday, kiddo. What is this? This is a thing that took a mighty effort to find. Is that a recording of the the space flight? She even has How the hell does that thing still work? You've been submerged multiple times. Oh, this is going to be cool. Cool for her, at least. Close your eyes. It, it'll be worth it. Oh, uh, he has tears in his eyes. I also have tears in my eyes. 30 seconds and counting. Astronaut reported feels good. T-minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. Okay, that was awesome. Really nicely done sequence. And I'm guessing we're going to transition into uh, current day again in a second. The music kicks in again. Why the hell didn't we get this first? I do okay. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, kiddo. I mean, this scene hit me more than what do you say we, uh, his death, which is keep looking around, huh? I feel like they fucked up a little yeah, bit on yes. the the pacing of things. This should have been first. Start with some of the happy scenes. After we got that emotional confession from Joel, then do this. And then start building towards her education. Because there's no combat in this. Welcome to Earth. Yeah. And it builds her relationship with Joel again if you've haven't played the game, uh, the previous game in a while. Because now his death fell flat for me. But after this it wouldn't have. You still get the somber note here because we know now that Joel is dead, but... Still, I would have liked to see this first. Although it might have been too slow for the beginning of the game, but then you could fix that in other ways. And now we can probably get out over here. Okay. Is that gonna be... I wouldn't introduce combat now, I hope, because otherwise this would have completely <laughs> broken a very nice uh, section. Yeah, I never checked out that building. Well, let's go. And just how do you plan on getting yourself over there? Uh, by jumping into the water, I'm assuming? <laughs> <laughs> Never give anyone else this much grief. 
Get down here! Well, that was actually Ow. pretty high. Hey, whose birthday is it? You can't keep doing that. I want a good splash. We've got more exploring to do. Come on, Joel. There he goes. <laughs> nice. There's actually a little bit of a current here because I'm drifting to the left automatically. So let's just go on to the stairs. But I'm guessing she has a gun for a reason now because, you know, he just said he didn't check this place out. So definitely might be infected in here. There we go. Also, although I still don't know how infected and food actually work, because they hey, definitely eat stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't but know. I don't know if they need it to survive. For you. Come on, we can't chicken out now. Um, this is probably a bad idea, isn't it? And even if this is combat now, then this would have been the perfect introduction to it. Because it's Ellie while she's still younger, so her abilities would have been less, um, hmm, less evolved, I should say. Okay, bad news. There's shit blocking the door. Yeah, obviously. Well, see if you can find me another way in. I'll, I'll walk around the outside. Okay, be safe. Could you walk around? Could you walk We're around? The dinosaurs the... around. Okay. Um. Could you walk around the outside? It doesn't doesn't seem like it. Oh. Wow. I killed for them. Okay. And this is actually an interesting image because of course the WLF use wolves as their sign. And maybe Fedra is then the moose. Ooh. Stay strong, buddy. That is um a nice image now. I am afraid that there's going to be enemies in here. I'm actually pretty sure there's going to be enemies in here, especially because of the I killed for them sign. What is this? This guy needed a hug. I killed for them. But we're not in Seattle, so that's not pointing towards the uh, WLF or anything. That's the, the birds. Okay, this definitely a museum in the dark is scary as fuck. The soldiers at the gate. The last one cried. The four soldiers at the gate. Okay. The woman we tortured choked on her own blood. Oh, shit. Okay. Fuck. Okay. Fucker. Oh, don't, don't, I need to fucking hit the controller. Um, the stragglers who snuck into camp, they just wanted food. What the actual hell is going on here? The kid who ran into the blast, I couldn't stop him. It's gonna be just a wild animal, isn't it? I just keep telling myself that. Oh, God. Um, the people in the van... We locked them in and doused it with gas. Okay, so that's a bit of rags. So we are actually collecting resources here. There's plenty of bottles and, and stuff around. So if I need to start a fight, that's going to come in handy. A bit of alcohol. Still don't see anything on the... Huh. I don't see anything on listening mode. There is no light. But I do hear stuff. There's more rags over here, so that's... It probably is building up to us allowing... Yeah, allowing us to make Molotovs and or um, a health kit. I don't know what the crafting options are. Yeah, definitely that. Molotovs and or a health kit. And then we have more supplies over here. And a note. We wanted to end suffering, we wanted to restore humanity. Each time we sacrificed part of ourselves, our leaders kept saying it'll be worth it. Now we've disbanded with nothing to show for our sins. I thought coming here might reignite something, some purpose. My parents loved bringing me here. It's one of my earliest memories from before the outbreak, before all of the cruelty and savagery. Those memories just made me angrier. I don't want to be in this world anymore. I can't look at the person I've become. Because, yeah, I think 
Yeah, this guy killed himself. Yeah, from the sides. Okay. Butterfly closet, and that's the other hole that we came through, so... Squeezing through here. <sighs> and more wolves. Fake animals. I love how the eyes actually reflect the light back. Um, and we're inside of the diorama here. Oh, Jesus Christ! What the? Is that a boar? Wow. Why do I need to crawl through my flashlight again? Liars. There's more notes behind the corpse. I'm in here! Oh, Jesus Christ, Joel. Who was it? A boar. It's just some animal. Ah, the Firefly logo. Well, let's get a move on. I want to get a fire going before it gets too dark. Come on. We know for a fact they weren't complete liars. Okay, that was, by the way, some really manipulative stuff. They were allowing us to gather resources for no reason. That was nasty. It actually makes sense that you can hear the radio because it's in the projector booth, which is right above here. And this place should be relatively safe because those other people also survived in here. He just died because he tried to touch the, well, the plugs. Uh, do we need to grab? Ah, oh, we can actually practice the guitar here, which is a nice touch. But... What happens if we go back up? Where's Dina? She might have run off. We said some horrible things to her. I wouldn't have... Uh, I wouldn't hold it against her. Okay, it's dark. Is it dark outside? No, it's just rainy dark. She is not here. Okay. Then I'm guessing she's either in the bathroom because she's, of course, not well. Doesn't seem like she is. You would have heard it by now. So she's probably going to be upstairs in the projector booth. And that is right over here. Okay. Hey. How hot do I look right now? Pretty hot. How'd you fix it? It was a loose connection. Antenna. They found our mess at the school. Good. This guy, Owen, he went AWOL. Maybe Tommy got to him. Maybe. What about her? Nothing yet. Unit Romeo, you are requested at site two. Repeat, you are requested at site two. Confirm. So, the numbers are locations. The TV station we were at? That's six. There's a lot of chatter coming out of two, so I'm assuming that's their home base. That helps. Look. Last night was... Scars you got over. Negative on scars. Lone male trespasser. Armed. Lone male over. trespasser? 
Tommy, where's 14? Uh, not 100% sure. Okay, then guess. Uh, if this is seven, 12's all the way over here. I guess it's somewhere in this neighborhood. Oh, Christ. Ellie just okay. flipped completely. She went from caring to completely business in the sp yeah a fraction of a second. I would stay in the theater. Tina. You know? Yeah. Not good. <laughs> hey. I'll go get him. You keep tracking them, okay? How is she gonna yeah. talk to us? Do we have a radio? I don't think we do. Wait. There goes our backup, by the way. Give me your hand. It's for good luck. Oh, don't give us something to remember I you by. I do. She's gonna die, isn't she? That's never a good sign. Bye, Dina. See you soon, I hope. Okay, ooh. And automatically teleporting to Hillcrest. That is always handy when that happens. Okay, Hillcrest. Is this the right place? Did we not think, yeah. Definitely the right place. I hear gunshots already. I have a little bit of time, so it's I think I'm just going to explore Shit. a few of the buildings here before we actually move on. Um, there might be infected around, but should probably just find... A, I'm, I'm mostly curious about having a new melee weapon, because that's something I don't really have anymore. So if I can find a pipe or something like that, because yeah, the scissors are, are, are all over the place. Is there... Can I pull that? Oh, wait, what? Ah, aha, uh -huh. okay, got it, so we can check out this room now from over here. I can grab the pipe, which is really weird, because it looks exactly like the first pipe we pulled uh, out of the wall when we were playing as Abby, but apparently not something we can grab right here. Wait, was there something on the... no. Not something on the pipe. And over here, that seems to just give access to that building. So if we can check out the next one over here, that might also give us some resources. Or a note, that's also good. Seems like another one of those barrier fang thingies, but... Yeah, okay, we've seen exactly the same thing in the, uh, the pet shop before. I'm assuming my health is still at the, the same level. Oh no, we're full health now. Then I might have wasted a health kit. Because I think we got healed up to full automatically here. And now we have a clothing store. Seems like a gentleman clothing store. Uh, so we might find a few more rags in this place. There we go. Makes sense. I feel like you can make rags from pretty much everything over here in this store. Just fill up your rags up to full. But apparently it doesn't make any sense in the, the context of this game. Gotta make resources scarce, even though they aren't. Okay, and there seems to be a basement in the back here, but is there another door over here? Yeah, there was, but that seems to be locked. Okay, so maybe we can, there's no ventilation shaft or anything, so I'm guessing I'm going to have to go through, ah, it's the door to the basement. That makes sense, actually. So just a few rats, doesn't seem like there's any infected over here, and there's a workbench. I need to shake the controller again and uh, we get more pills and ammo and crafting parts. This is good. And then we get another note. Seems another drawing. M might be from the same guy. Happy Pretty birthday, deck, Dad. The best clicker killer in the whole QZ. That was actually a pretty nice drawing indeed. And then we have... I'm going to use the workbench in a second. But this... Ooh. Huh. Boris Legasov. It is Boris Legasov, right? Yeah, Sunnyvale Archery, first place. 
Let's put that back. Looks like you could smash some somebody's face in with that, but... Oh, give me a second. I need to grab the extra bullets over here. And now, with all those bullets, we can actually improve the uh, damage output of the revolver. So, emptying the clip and then going for the 40% damage increase. There we go. That gives us 37 parts left. Ooh, look at that nice new barrel. That's going to come in handy. I could increase the firing rate, but again, I don't believe that the firing rate is going to be that useful. How much do I need for the fire rate of the pistol? <laughs> because, uh, yeah, 40. I'm only... Because there's a few more parts on the side here that I apparently missed. Uh, that's four, five, and more adhesive. So I think I'm just... I'll just upgrade the uh, one of the pistols to full. Um, probably best to just do the normal pistol now. Although I could also... Ooh, I could now do the stability of the shotgun. That's going to be better. Um, so less recoil and more stability. So there we go. And that gives us a new receiver, I would suppose. It's the part that she's hiding. Is the grip. No, she improved the grip. Okay, so now that's a, a plastic grip instead of a wooden grip. That is nice. There we go. And that's about it, because I can't pick up the adhesive. Um, so that's that. So now we have actually 11 bullets for the revolver, which is nice. You can now open that up, and then the other door over here just, well, loops us back to the back of the building. And I don't think I can move any of these things. So, the only place I can actually go into is over here. Seems like another darker area. And it's also the final shop in this little uh, first street. Um, but, with that done, I'm going to take a little break before we head into uh, Hillcrest proper. So, thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And when we get back, we're going to go into Hillcrest itself and hopefully meet up with Tommy. So, thanks again. Anomsi for watching, and see you guys next time. Goodbye.